It's the World Team Cup for 2007. It's the first of the men's semi-finals. It's Canada and Australia. Welcome everyone here at the Tweed Heads Bowls Club on the New South Wales-Queensland border. We've rarely had international action of this quality. Eight teams of three in the men's draw. Canada and Australia making it through to their semi-final, which will be decided by three games, pairs, singles and triples. And we've got pairs action for you today. The Canadians, well, Keith Roney and Ryan Bester are the current world outdoor champions and they'll command the respect of the Australian pair Wayne Turley and Nathan Rice, both of whom are Commonwealth Games medalists. Well, Shui, those who haven't seen Ryan Bester play are in for a treat today. Most definitely, Steve. The 22-year-old Canadian, he's a rising star of world boss. He's got the, one of the best drives in the world. He's better than Rob Perella was at his best and that's saying something. What about uh, Turley and Rice? What do we expect of them? Well, I think it'll be a battle of the skips. We normally say in two bowl pairs it's a battle of the leads, but today I think Rice and Bester, we're, as you mentioned, Steve, we're in for a real treat. And joining Ian in commentary for this match, it'll be Quentin Hull. Thanks, Steve. Turley and Rice, Rooney and Bester. This should be a terrific pairs encounter with Bob Mullins keeping us in touch from the head. The reigning world outdoor champions against the Aussie Buck and experienced Turley. It's a bit the same for this uh, Canadian combination as well. The flair of youth through Bester. And yes, Roney showing straight up that uh, he has plenty of experience for the big stage. Okay, and absolutely uh, no argument as to which bowl belongs to which country. Terrific to see the red of Canada and the gold of Australia standing out on this terrific indoor stadium at Tweed Heads. And throughout the World Team Cup, Shuey, the uh, Australians have been in, uh, in pretty good nick and certainly from uh, the locals here looking for a good performance from uh, Turley and Rice. Uh, this should be a real litmus test for them. Yes, Quentin, but uh, Australia finished second in their group to England and uh, Canada topped their pool with Bells. Wales, Scotland and Hurry Ireland. Up, so they're in fine form, the Canadians. Great shot, buddy. He's uh, okay. Great correction from Turley. And finding the hole is Roney, and if you're thinking, well, why has he had another bowl? A lot of our regular viewers, or if you haven't uh, tuned in for a while, would be used to the uh, two bowl pairs format. Uh, not here. Three bowl pairs go. for the World Team Cup. Good for the players. They really enjoy that third bowl. Also, more Great aggressive shot, shots buddy. of play in wow, This is a superb correction from yeah. Turley. Outside edge, Australia holding two. Does not waste any time on the mat. This will be a very quick game. Nathan Rice and Bester certainly do not waste a moment. I think it's a really exciting matchup to have. Uh, well, certainly the, the experienced in life combination of, of Turley and Roney up front, and the uh, certainly less experienced in life combination of uh, of Bester and Rice. Uh, both players still in their twenties. The uh, the two skips. Yeah, they're very flamboyant, um, Rice and Bester. This promises to be one of the best matches seen on television because of the sheer brilliance yeah. of the two skips. Thank you, Rob. Come on now. Come hard. 
Come here, Cloud. Three down, Ryan Bester to Everybody. one up. Oh, that's a terrific controlled weighted forehand. It's a fraction in front, mate. Can sit him. We've got uh, definitely two seconds. Takes a lot of courage to play delicate weight with the first end three down. The natural tendency for Ryan would be to drive. Well, straight up, we're getting some terrific Good. bowls. How can Rice respond? Oh. Oh. Needs a wick. Great side up. Come on back here. Well done. And I think the better tactic is to draw a second shot. Oh, Try to make the conversion more difficult for Rice. And it looks like that uh, drawing to the jack is the option. Oh, Hold it up. Hey, run then. Oh. Okay. Run on. Well, he's gone narrow and beyond that region that you were uh, speaking of, Shuey. <laughs> it's so. handy. You might end up the shot there, Quentin. But if Rice could remove the Canadian bowl without moving the jack, Australia potentially could score three. Canada yeah. with one. Last bowl, first end. Great effort, mate. Great effort. And it remains as such. So Roney and Bester are on the board for the Maple Leaf with a single in the first end of the pair's semi-final. Well, you were talking up the uh, driving of Ryan Bester. We haven't uh, seen it or needed to see it from his perspective as yet. Well, well if he doesn't have a drive in the match, they'll win the Canadians. Well, what a juicy <laughs> target. <laughs> Ryan Bester. <laughs> Keith Rooney, <laughs> he knows how couple of Aussie supporters there in the grandstand. Ryan and Sandra from uh, down the Newcastle area. They follow the Australian team everywhere, to the Asia Pacific and New Zealand. They're going to the World Championships. All the Grand Prix events and Bowls Australia Run. have Run. presented them with a couple of Aussie shirts, which are nice of loyal supporters. Oh, well, he's blocked the drive well, for the feet, mate. Jack. Back around the corner, get to the red. <laughs> Lurch saying to Wayne Turley, tuck it around the corner, get that Jack out of sight. Now the drive is no, no longer available. It's better Got to play it, the backhand control weight because you can get the jack with control oh, weight. Lord, cannot right get the jack with the drive. Straight to that. Well, it looked like the, uh, the weight was pretty good, just missing and a uh, little disappointment from Turley. But still, he's pretty much done his job. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? You, he's got two really close bowls, but the, oh, come on, the, the Aussie's probably thinking that the oh. jack, the bowls will not stay there. Keep coming, then. It's good, there. And Roney's going to also uh, slide through. So two to Australia through the battle of the leads. The two bowls are close together, so Australia really need a third bowl, a third shot on the left-hand side Hurry. of the jack. Hold. Hurry. I don't think he's pushed it. Good shot, Lurch. Oh, stand back. It's still real. <laughs> look, and at home you're thinking, oh, terrific bowl. Why the cynicism in the commentary box? And look, we? look at Nathan Rice. He doesn't look happy. He's just drawn the best shot of the end, but he's plugged the gap. Well, look, Ryan Bester will play backhand. I don't think he'll drive, Quentin, because he'll try to get the jack with control weight. Oh, no, no he's, he's having a rip. What strap? Hey, well, he'd be happy with that. He's, he's got rid of the rubbish up front. <laughs> so the blocker is gone. Yeah. <laughs> Try and sort of get to that. It's a two-part play. Right. <laughs> That's that part from the spurs to spot my foot. In front of my foot. There he is. Part A achieved. Watch out for part B coming up. Now, Lurch is trying to cover the spot. He's thinking if those three Aussie bowls have contacted with the weight Ryan Bester can hit. Well, we may not even be safe in the commentary box. This jack could be propelled skyward. Oh, there's four shots to Australia. So pressure here on Bester, but he would not miss this. Watch for the scatter. The best in the world. He's got... Oh, he's only got... 
There's two a bowls out. Bit of a jam there on that uh, second of the Australian bowls to the right of the jack, and it managed to hang around. And just because it was squeezed in so tightly, it was able to pretty much maintain its position. Unbelievable, that ricochet, Quentin. The Ryan Bester bowl spun backwards when it made contact with the Aussie bowl. Rice about to play his last. Australia holding three. Big shot for Bester. Tactically, he should be drawing second shot, but he's good enough to drive at the bare jack and get it. So the Australia Five now minutes. will be holding four shots. Run past. Past. Left a gap. Wow, what is Ryan Bester going to play? There's uh, Lurch's father, Glenn, and girlfriend, Kirsty. Well, just that one, maybe. Is, uh, sooty, as he's affectionately known. <laughs> Missing, okay. but minimising the count. So that's a pretty effective drive. From four down to two down, and it's enough for Canada to maintain the lead, but Australia go. Well, that's a, a great hit in the end, just uh, soaking it up once more. Uh, Australia get on the scoreboard. Canada three, Australia two, through three. What a tight first set we're seeing in this pairs encounter. It's the opening match in the Australia versus Canada semi-final at the World Team Cup. Yeah, good start, Keith. Four ends to play. Right. One shot the lead to Canada and, well, basically at uh, the lead and skip's end, we're seeing Terrific one-on-one -on -one battles outside of the team battles. Roney and Turley have been at each other's throats. A little bit more subtle than the way that uh, Bester of Canada has tried to throttle Rice with his power. Great shot, Turles. Great shot, buddy. And the crowd is starting to get to that point where, well, they've been just soaking in the enjoyment without really vocalising it. Now as we get to the, uh, the crunch stage of this first set, they want to release some tension. Next one, mate. Touch him up. Turley quite happy to get to the mat quickly. Right there again, mate. I'll try the same again. Turles. Really needs to trail a jack again, Quentin. Just to poke it around the corner. Great shot, buddy. Very good, Mark. Well, that much off your last. Probably not the result he was hoping for. No, marginally Sorry. heavy. On my last one. Oh, okay. Still only, feet. still only one shot to Australia, and unfortunately Wayne Turley has allowed Keith Rooney more room to draw the shot. And wherever you may be watching, maybe thinking, boy, yeah. these guy, the guys are hard on the, uh, the bowlers out Work. in the rink. But Work. we're lucky, in a sense, today that we've got a match of such high class that it yeah. doesn't matter how close yeah, the bowl problem. is to the jack or whether it makes contact with the jack. It's, it's a match where players and those who play at the top level know it's how does it affect the next shot. Yeah, and also, Quentin, the fact that it's three bowl pairs... Uh, there's more attacking shots played. Two bowl pairs is more like just target well, bowls. Okay, um. Oh, bad luck, mate. Oh. All right. We'll cover and count. You're up. See, Bester would love to trail the jack here for three, but he knows he's one yeah. down. He really should be just yeah. drawing. He's a bit in between, isn't he? Yeah, it's because he knows he won't be happy. He wasn't trying to trail the jack because he knows now he's given a great opportunity for Lurch to draw a second shot. Come on, buddy. Settle. Sit. Settle. Good shot, Lurch. Sit. Great shot, Lurch. Well, that's 
Great shot. A very effective call from Wayne Turley. And the uh, body language of Rice and the Aussie fans tells the story. A nice edge of the right side of the jack as well, Quinn. And tucked it further in behind and brought it back toward the Turley Bowl. Now ah. look out if Bester trails the jack. Won't bend enough, quickly enough for his liking. Still a draw there, can't I? Like, oh, you, you drop, you, these are the ones you drop it off the beat. If you happen to fall, just pass, it's all good. Drop it <laughs> off your count. Which is their closest one? The back this there. one here. One. Back one, that's pretty close there. Turley wants some protection. Cover the backhand trail. Well, as it stand, Australia is in the lead. Yeah, Holding if, two here. <laughs> if Ryan Bester could trail the jack, he could potentially make five shots, Quinn, and so... Well, that line, mate, hurry. Sorry, buddy. Hurry, that's all right. Really Keep coming. Go for the trail, eh? Keep coming. Two shots on. Ryan's asking Keith Ray, will I go for the trail or will I try to draw a second shot? Yeah. If he <laughs> plays weight and misses, Lurch will be running back to the mat to draw for three. Massive couple of bowls here. Uh, Come on, make this count. Get in there. Best has missed it and Turley is already on the uh, on the G up, just talking to Rice. Come on, mate. He's <laughs> really Gene Lurch. I was like, come on, make it count. Well, this just has to be uh, made a big counting play for Australia because you get the feeling that Canada has had the best of the set to this point. The scoreboard suggests so. But a huge opportunity for Rice. Better. Feel good? Yeah. All right. Come on. Come on, Lurchie. Has he nudged it for three? Hurry! Hurry! Yes, he has. Yeah, buddy. Great shot. Well done. He <laughs> got there eventually. <laughs> oh, the Australian striking a big blow in the sixth end of the first set. In such a tight encounter, a count of three is a huge result as the Australians move two ahead with three ends to play. So now the question posed to Canada. Three ends to play first set. And for the first time in the contest, Canada trails on the scoreboard. Three of the last four ends to Australia. Yes, importantly, Australia have only conceded one double and two singles. It's the, the two and the three that at last end has hurt Canada. He looks like he's really zoning in now, Wayne Turley. I think... Uh, well, just that, that body language there, he seems to have sucked a bit of focus and confidence even from yeah, his, uh, his teammate at the end of that previous end. Yes, and the Aussies will be thinking, Quentin, if they could just win this end and put three ends in a row together, that the lead is probably enough to hang on, even if Canada should win the last two ends after this. So every bowl now vital. That's a bit. Yeah, it's good, mate. A much needed forehand draw from Roney there. You haven't managed to pinch one of those gold shoes, uh, a pair of those gold shoes, have you, Shuey? Uh, I believe there's a set on the way. Nice here, buddy. Quentin. <laughs> Great shot, mate. Perfect. Has it hung around? Perfect line, just behind the jack. Difficult to convert. Calls one to Canada. At, uh, nice, buddy. Earlier draw a shot from Roney, still closest. And this might be even better. Well, it's one, but a better one. Kelsey Cottrell, star 16-year-old, Australian representative. Tell you what, you've done well, Shuey, to get some good nicknames into the Australian squad. We're about to see Lurch Bowl and... Just saw Joey on screen. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's typical of Australia, isn't it? I don't think there's too many countries in the world where there's so many nicknames for players. And 
you know, there's not one person really in the bowls world that calls Wayne Turley Wayne. Yeah. You're out. This is looking pretty good for Ryan. He'd just like to touch yep. the jack or flop on the shot bowl uh, down onto the jack right. and fall Shut. down. He will not fall over. It might, <laughs> eventually. That's why the liquid chalk was invented. Uh, as we see this toucher, if you mark that with a normal stick of chalk, the, you have to put pressure on the bowl, whereas the liquid chalk, it allows the markers to spray the bowl without moving the bowl or putting any pressure on. It's a lot easier. Well, it's not that easy, but it would have been tougher for Lurch to make the conversion shot had the Ryan Bester bowl fallen down. But Lurch, he's been missing these conversion shots wide throughout the match. And again, good. just previously, how terrific to see the touch from Bester. We were raving yeah. about his... Uh, Great driving ability, but that was a, a here, wonderful eh? draw. Yeah, I um, had a good talk to uh, Ryan just the other day, and um, you know, we were talking about the importance of finding good role models. He's now based in Australia and spends some time in New Zealand as well. And I haven't got it, mate. Yep. Well, here's a bold move a drive coming up. Not a very big tag. That's from the mat end. There's not much of that bowl sticking out. Rice is having a crack. Oh, and that is a wild swing. Oh, yeah, that's... Um... I think he's just trying to maybe... Inti the intent was to intimidate Ryan Bester, but just pulled that forehand drive narrow. So touch him down, yeah? Well, it's backhand. Yeah, so... He may be trying to cover and count. Doesn't want to broaden the target yeah. because, see, Nathan Rice could drive his own bowl out of the head there. Yeah, work. Oh, well, that's just oh, obscene. Ball, right? <laughs> that is obscene. Oh, he's pushed yeah. the Aussie bowl out. It could be four. What a result from Ryan Bester. It is four. Bob Mullins yeah, confirms from the head. Oh, this is just extraordinary talent. I don't know whether that was the uh, the ultimate plan, but nevertheless, what a result for Canada. Well, Lurch now, Quentin has to drive. Four down, must take out at least two of the Canadian bowls. It was an absolutely wild mess previously. Well. This looks a bit better, and that's to be respotted. What do you want, mate? It's off the rink, and who's got the best bowl at the bottom right of the rink as the bowlers look at it. One to Canada, I think, Quentin, so that's a good result. It's Canadian and... I'd like to look on the third one. Keith Rooney says two, and I want to look at the third. So Maybe bottom left back, is where you look now as that's where the <laughs> bowl in the uh, jack is jettisoned. Very lucky for the Aussies, Quentin, that one yeah, grapefruit fit. remained. Well, it is two. So... Rice de does minimise the count, but Canada draws level. This is extremely tense, high-class stuff. Two ends left in the first set, and it's tied up. Well, there's a uh, part of me that wishes this set would never end. It has been the most brilliant thrust and counter-thrust parry and Jack, weave. Great shot, buddy. All skills required in this first set, and... Is Aaron Sheriff the well, He'd be Australian enjoying it, wouldn't he? Singles rep. Be hoping for Australia, but he'd be realising that he's lucky to be rinkside and seeing this terrific contest. He'd be hoping that the uh, Aussie pair would get up and need to win two out of the three matches, so it's both of these teams right, would yes. love to start with an opening victory in the pairs. Oh, what a great contest up front with the two leads. How about the response from Roney after Turley drew the liquid chalk from Bob Mullins's pocket? So too does the Canadian lead. The effective rate there. Well, Australia, just oh, it's nothing in it really, is it? 67, 69. 
Pals. Right. He wouldn't, would he? Wayne Turley? No, oh. it's just short. Wayne Tighter, mate. Pause if you can, pal. Ozzy Cage on the right, Cameron Curtis, Kim Littlejohn. Norm Carmichael, the swing doctor, used by other Australian players. The swing doctor? Yes. Um, <laughs> that's what he's affectionately called, okay. the swing doctor. Okay. Very good on uh, technique, on uh, timing. Very good there, bud. Norm oh, Carmichael. Five feet, mate. Get yours, get the gap, you get him clean. Losing it? Oh, down here, yeah, if you lose it, you lose it. Kim Little John, the high performance manager. This is a real serious hit out for all countries, this World Team Cup for next year's World Championships. All players vying for selection. Results are crucial here. Well, Similar speed to uh, New Zealand. This carpet looking for the jack through the gap or the bowl. Wow. Sliced it away. Still one down, but he's got a toucher at the back of the ring. In the ditch. Very good. May end up the shot. For our non-bowling viewers, any bowl delivered that touches the jack like that yellow bowl, sprayed with liquid chalk, if it goes in the ditch, it stays alive. And it wasn't really propelled on an angle away from where the jack would go into the ditch, you'd suggest, oh. with strong contact. Oh. So oh. it's probably another reason why Nathan Rice Beat that one. was that. pretty happy with that. Roney just uh, bowl, falling bowl, short bowl, with his yeah, like, last bowl of the set. He's playing a couple of metres of weight. He has been wide. Oh. And he's wide again. Out there again. That'll splash and won't be alive. The problem now, if you miss, right. Ryan Bester has three quarters of a oh, metre of room. Rod. Stay up. Oh. I think he's narrow. Oh. Oh. Oh, Reach, it might get around. Yeah, well, ball, Ryan. It does. Good it's start. brilliant. Well, I think. Um, good positive weight, mate. Good positive weight for it now. Good call from Turley. No option now. Go for the bear jack into the ditch. Better. Controlled weight. Nice and firm. Turley likes it out of the hand. It's uh, wide. Good. Ball, good. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Two down to one down. So, Hold. this is the third last bowl of the set. Hold. Rice, one to play. Best or another after this one. Don't hold. Come on. Two. Okay. If he misses. It suggests oh. it's the last bowl of the set. Birch. Chances, chances. Yellow! Yellow! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, well. Yes. Not the greatest yeah. of executions, but the most brilliant of results. Oh, that was a courageous shot, Quinnan. Oh. He played the difficult weight. If he missed the jack, he could promote the Aussie bowl just enough, but it's onto the jack. The touch is in the ditch. Right. He's made two shots. Nathan. Oh, and turns is dancing. <laughs> Oh, he had to do some Justin Timberlake moves to get out of the way there. But here's Bester. He still has a say. Like to get second shot for a tie. Australia holding two. It's fitting it's come down to this. Is he? Is he? Is he? He'll pinch the jubilation from the Australians. Brilliant Bester. Very best. Set. Canada take it. I'll put that one in the memory bank because you'll be telling stories about it at the club for years to come. It was absolutely terrific. Roni, whoa. The, the icy exterior is broken. Canada take it, eight to six. Second set begins and Oh, the hearts are still pumping after oh, buddy. Canada's thrilling first set victory. Well, we're singing the praises of Ryan Bester's 
driving ability, Quentin, but what an exquisite draw shot to finish the first set. Ryan Bester could not see the jack from the mat. And Nathan Rice thought he had the first set. It was only a slippery grip and the Canadian played the shot of the match. See you, everybody. Look there, mate, or? Oh, no, We're just in the commentary box, Shuey, and... Uh, and doing our thing as a player. You've been in the uh, situation of having to forget it straight away and, and recover on rink and try and continue to to bowl well. I mean, at the moment, I'm finding it hard to even concentrate yeah, well, on this end, just watching it because of buddy. the brilliance of what we've seen previously. Well, it's indicative right, sure, of a world-class player that they, they respond yeah, yeah. to pressure. And he was under enormous pressure. Jack near the ditch, two down, set down and to play that backhand draw shot. Ah, oh, did it easy. What a player, Ryan Bester. Reckon, Keith. I thought actually Ryan Bester would have done a remarkable job just to get the second reckon. nearest bowl to the jack and get away with a tie. Yeah, just yeah, two feet. But it's to off. draw the shot. Oh. I mean, considering the celebration of Rice and Turley, just the bowl previous. I'm they thought they had the set secure. They thought they'd won the first set. Good they were celebrating, high-fiving all around. And how, right, how would they have felt to see that best of bowl come down? Well, I'm right, surprised right. Turley can deliver as well as this. He almost did a hamstring and dancing out of the way in celebration the previous end. But uh, that's a very good composed response from the Australian lead. What a great on, change has come over the game, Shuey, oh, since oh. when you started. The coloured bowls, coloured shirts. Great dynamic Wait. emotions on the rink. Oh, oh Roney. Yeah, very good. Oh. Not the ultimate reward, but a pretty good bowl. Yeah, they've had a fantastic battle up front, the, the two leads. Hang around. Lurch. Good shot. Just over. Indicative of Wayne oh, Turley's just, mental just, toughness. Yeah, another one in there. Well done. That after the, they must feel, well, most players would have been absolutely right. gutted when Rocket Bester drew that set winning backhand draw shot. But Turley has bounced out of the blocks in the second set. But two terrific shots. The Aussies will just throw in the white towel here if. <laughs> <laughs> Best of draws this. I know you're speaking uh, colloquially. <laughs> he must be on a high, Bester. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's made a mistake. That's right. He has made a mistake. Is three it two or three? Three. So that touch is sort of going through there, but yours is just like two rolls out. You just slip past, it's all good. Well, that's the great danger for Canada here, and particularly Ryan Bester, having just played an absolute brilliant bowl to win the previous set. Oh. One mistake, Pass the red. a big count to Pass Australia. It. Passed it. And, oh, well, and Rice has just yep, squeezed in for four. So now the mental just challenge for Bester. There. Boy, it was good last end, but can't afford a big count early no. second set. He's going to have... A couple of cracks at this on the backhand. Oh. It looks a little wide, so there's a nice channel there through the to the jack, or we'll rest the Aussie bowl and run through. So Lurch will try to slam the door shut. So even though it's four to the Aussies, it's not a great four. Lurch will try to change it delicately. Oh, the worst possible result. The That's Jack's only... moved. It's only two now. He's given two shots away. I was just about to say, I thought it was only one. I think this... Why don't I just well, try to get tip this one on? Is it one or two? Let's have another look. I think uh, Bob Mullins has got the two lollipops up, but... Oh, that bobbling bowl is just yep. second it's either, shot. It's that one or... but, but I don't yeah, want to swing around it and get ours, and it's... Yeah. Shit, could... 
you just heard Ryan say, first in, couple down, I could draw a second shot. Or just promote the short right. bowl with delicate weight. Well, now he doesn't want to flick this back. Ooh, watch out. out. Watch out. Well, he might have. That's two mistakes. An extra, an extra shot away. That's uh, two mistakes from his three bowls this end. Those two will count. And it looks like three for Australia. Yep. Three. Indeed oh. it is. So after so much permutation and changing nature of the head, it is a pretty handy count for Australia in the end to start the second set. First set to Canada, but early momentum in the second is with the hosts, Turley and Rice of Australia taking on Roney and Besta of Canada. The first leg of the World Team Cup semi-final between the Boxing Kangaroo and the Maple Leaf at Tweed Heads. Yeah, good, sir, Keith. Well done, mate. The other semi-final in the men's draw, we'll see everybody. England take on Ireland as Turley Great continues shot. his uh, pretty handy form up front. So great to see the power nations of bowls produce some of their best work underneath Tweedhead's roof. Right on. Not far off, pal. Just that. Draw one there, mate. Turley being asked by Nathan Rice to switch to the backhand. around yours, pal. A two and a half and a half? Uh, yeah, two. Just pushing it a little too much. Okay. Come back there if you want, mate. Yeah. Really need another bowl close. The Aussies. Um, Keith Rainey hasn't got the shot, but he's got second, third, and fourth, so it's very important. If a guy like Ryan Best is about to play three in a row, you get more than one bowl near the jack. <laughs> so <laughs> totally switching back to his forehand, trying to avoid the short Rainey the bowl. Slides underneath nicely. Very good, my nail on the head. But the bowls, on, uh, well, they're not sitting right alongside one another. It's very close for the shot. Well, this, yeah, good is, effort. this is one of these difficult ends. See, there's not, there's delays in decision making. They're just, it's dangerous. The Canadian bowls are on the left hand side of the line. The Aussie bowls are on the right as we're looking. Trying to take the initiative here by exerting pressure on Bester. Chance Lurch, got him. He's played it perfectly. Yep. Played it perfect. Oh, oh removed the two Canadian bowls away from the head. Australia now lying two shots. Just outstanding execution What's to that? find such ball, the perfect thirds, angle. That would have been the dream scenario in his mind. And so, uh, right now. so really does it come off. Ryan Best is good enough to get both these Aussie bowls out. They've got the next four after these two. He's having a crack. Oh, he just played controlled weight. Well... 
for him. A drive, <laughs> a drive for most players, but for Ryan, he was just trying to guide that ball. Oh. It was fairly quick, but that's not his drive. That's just a firm running shot. Did not turn at all. Perhaps try to draw a third shot. Maybe just directly in front of the jack. And we are getting to a stage, even though it's early second set. Three to Australia first end, and now uh, yep. holding nope. rule three. <laughs> well, I'm not sure whether it's three or not. Kelsey Cottrell there, the 68th player there on the cap to represent Australia. Amazing of uh, how few players have represented their country. The guys are up to um, about what, 127, I think. Is, uh, but they started playing international bowls before? No, well, that's the girls. Wow, Ryan just found the gap, and now it's an opportunity for Lurch to draw a third shot. And this is going to be a handy break for the Aussies, now leading by three. Opportunity to, to uh, just double that lead. See Turles' number there on his cap. It looks like 127. 127, and um, he only made his debut just before last year's Commonwealth Games. Well, Rice just has to make this three in such a high quality contest really is an opportunity presented the way it is now settle settle he's heavy again nathan rice settle it's still going to be okay yep. it is three and wayne turley with a shake of the hand a bit of a clap and after some nervous times the Aussies can perhaps breathe a little easier at the moment because they've scooted away to start the second set, a lead of a half dozen. A couple to Canada previous end and uh, a much needed count of two. Two threes for Australia to start this second set. Sales. But as it stands, it's... Great start here, buddy. Well, again, game on. Turley has been terrific up front for right. Australia. It's a resting toucher from Wayne Turley. Back to maximum distance, 33 metres. Unbelievable skill. Plenty of time for Canada to reel in Australia's four-shot lead. Nine end sets here at the World Team Cup. An effective rate. It's been around that 70% mark for the whole match. And yeah, handy, pal. Well done. In the first set, it was just the sheer brilliance of Ryan Bester that decided the set. And even though the Aussies are leading by four at the moment, with six ends to play, thank you. The tension out there on the rink suggests that this second set's going to finish tight as well. Oh, that is excellent leading. Wayne Turley's known as a like a middleman in a team. He's a link man between the lead and the skip, and he's a team motivator. He likes to pump the team up. He's really not recognised as a lead a way, for Australia, but this format where oh. players play two Go events, on. Turley in the well middle in the triples. He's leading exceptionally well Check in the pair. Well what two good ones there, mate. So you... Um, Jack's only coming over here, mate. I'd... Got to beat that. That's pretty good the way it is. Beat that there. So you go for the the better triples player instead of the the well, lead of the pairs? Well, it, it's, it's been an interesting selection. Yeah, it is. Discussion, um, no doubt. Yeah, and there's a, quite a few of the Aussie players were disappointed not to make this World Team Cup oh. side. Quenin, but um, here, I mate. guess Coach Curtis is uh, looking at, uh, well, the blooded Aaron Great Sheriff, shot, uh, the single. Oh, look at that. That's almost too good. <laughs> Donna and Ken Crop there, a couple of Salisbury bowlers from Brisbane. Very keen observers of the game. Well, Come this on. is Mark. not a bad three shots, actually. It's not a broad target. Stay off the lane. 
Come on. You hear Keith Rainey say, stay off the line. And wow. It does. <laughs> Ryan Best is quick enough to come underneath that on his forehand. If Nathan Rice, who played singles at the Asia Pacific Championships this year, if he is not playing singles, he'd probably skip a team event. Wayne Turley well sent to Cameron Curtis after one of the round yep. matches. He said, ring Billy Cornell's, Great tell shot. him <laughs> tell him to start training. <laughs> Turley's fancy himself as a lead, and why not? There's Coach Curtis. Oh, look out. Bombshell coming. Oh, what a... Oh! <laughs> well, I think he's joking. Let's hope he's joking. Wayne Turley's <laughs> been hit. Oh, gee, he is. He has been knocked <laughs> out. <laughs> well, the Canadians are pretty good at ice hockey, and here's the puck gone flying into the crowd. Into Wayne Turley somewhere. Oh, oh, on no. the knee almost. <laughs> I think it was a little lower than <laughs> those who are chuckling expect. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slap shot and a half until he's okay. Jack respotted near one Aussie bowl. What a drive. Unbelievable accuracy. Well, Ryan played, Bester. Gentle. Okay, mate, well done. Well, what does Bester do here? Well, he might go again. He may have left it wide here, just trying to hook it across with that body language. Oh. Well, he's got enough juice to punch that one somewhat near the jack, but not really the result. He's a damaging, powerful man, Ryan Bester. <laughs> Wayne Turley will know better next time. Whoa! <laughs> Don't get that close. <laughs> no, the official close to the rink there. Dougie Corman. He, oh, he was running. almost going to call for the paramedics. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that accuracy. Look how it's propelled upwards and Wayne Turley had no time at all to get out of the way. <laughs> so Australia with one and one to play. But Bester will bowl last. <laughs> Great to see. Turley, he's a comedian, isn't he? <laughs> For one moment, I actually thought he'd been seriously hurt. <laughs> so. <laughs> Went down as if he'd been shot in the yep. head, Wayne Turley, and that's two shots to Australia. So backhanded is hoping just for a little bit of a punch on that jack and the natural direction oh. would take it through to that close Canadian bowl, oh. but he's left it narrow. And it won't affect the head yeah, to, to Australia. He didn't even get second shot. That's a disappointing result for Ryan. And the Australian's in a very strong position now to force the tie break, a lead of six through four ends of the second set. Australia to bowl first in the tie break. Canada winning the toss. And as has been the case, uh, if you've been with us the last couple of programs, you'll know that this is a, a different tie break Down. format for the World Team Cup. Shot Good do start, count. Andy. Good. If you've been away from us for uh, a few weeks or so, you could be thinking of the best of three end shootout where it's the winner, best of three ends. Not the case here. Shots do count. Yes, Gwen, when Australia played New Zealand uh, in the group game, uh, they went into this pairs match He's and uh, tiebreaker, and Australia lost two shots on the first end against yeah, New Mark, Zealand. No lost a single on the second to trail 3 0 and scored four shots on the third end of the tiebreaker to win it. In this particular matchup. Does it take away a bit of the advantage from Canada because of Bester's brilliance on the drive? Um, well, I think Scott Tails. the ability to destroy and just on, win an end without having to, to build the number of shots. Well, I think really the toss was the important thing in this tiebreaker. Uh, Canada won the toss and they've sent Australia in to bowl first and uh, Bester wants to bowl last. 
So the toss generally can quite often Stop determine it. the outcome. But at the moment, it's Wayne Turley with the nearest bowl to the jack. Come on. And you quite often find now that uh, these players are best in the world, but very hard to control the heart rate and the anxiety. It's trying just so hard to nail the jack. You quite often get bowls a little bit further away from the jack than normal. Got mate. Great and sometimes it makes it harder to beat because the okay. skips have to draw. See, that bowl is 30 centimetres or just less than a foot away from the jack. And... Well, Turley has had the better of uh, his battle with Keith Roney oh, of right. late. That's continued early in this right. oh. tie break. Right. Oh. Until now. But Roney will find the gap. See, there's just he yeah. didn't intentionally leave the gap Wayne Turley, but his luck would have it for Australia. There's a 30 centimetre gap. So, well, no, Lurch is shaping up on the forehand. And if he may think about covering the spot. Bit the Settle. plant is trying Settle. to beat the two. Oh, yeah. Good side, good shot. Bester for the first time to the mat in the tie break. Rob. Oh, come on. Oh. He's shown he's got some brilliant touch as well as great power. And he'll find the gap. Holes were made for bowls. How unlucky. Keith Roney first and followed up by Ryan Besser. It's just one. Just, uh, you got to get another one. you got to draw a shot. Yeah, just got to draw Just draw a shot. Yep. Draw it. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Heard Wayne Turley. Just draw the shot. Tactically, you really need to play the conventional tactics, not just go wild and try and score one. Ryan Bester has got a trail shot on for three. Come on, Nathan. This is looking pretty good. Uh, hurry! Good shot. Ooh. Good, good. Well, it's counting, and Ryan Bester, he's going to have two to play. Well, it almost takes the Bester drive away now because he's got to try and draw it. Well, he's put this bowl out Drop. wider. Down. Down. Yeah, he was trying to work off the Nathan Rice bowl onto the jacks. So he played more weight and a wider line. He was looking for the inside edge, the bowl being a bigger target than the jack. Now, just thinking ahead, it's, it's interesting. You'd have to think that if Rice can get close here, Rice is still going to try and have to make a couple. Does he go for the same area? No, 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 no. It'd be foolish. I think he's got to come around here and cover the danger at the back of the rink left as we're looking. OK. We'll cover the spot. Don't think he can afford to get greedy in this situation, Quentin. It's a totally new dynamic, isn't it? The way the tiebreak is played in this oh, format. Mate. Good shot. And roll well called, Shuey. Hurry now. Touch it. I think Ryan's going to play a trick shot right. here. I think he'll, pl he'll play firm with a narrow line. Instead of work off the outside bowl, I think he'll play a tight line, look for the inside edge and bring the jack back to this area. It's on. But no, he's going big weight. Jump. Play. Oh, he's got the jack. Oh, oh, and he's in the ditch and he scored six shots. Unbelievable. That is unfathomable. He has got a ricochet with the jack. Watch the jack go onto the yellow bowl to the right. Boom, there it is. And it catches it, spits it back down on the line. And there is nothing but red waiting for it. What an extraordinary bowl. Bang. He's took out all the three Aussie bowls at the back of the rink. And look at Keith Roney. Four plus two. Get your head around that if you can. And I think the man who delivered it is still trying to. Absolute privilege to witness the flamboyant and dynamic driving and skill of this young man.
Uh, Sky's the limit as to how far Ryan Bester wants to go. There's still parts of his game that need improving. And uh, remember, um, just prior to the Commonwealth Games, Quentin, Alan Jeans, a former legendary AFL coach for St Kilda and uh, Hawthorne, as Hawthorne well. um, lectured our Australian Commonwealth Games team and uh, he said to all the players, he said, look, it's so important that at the end of your career that you can look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, I have achieved everything humanly possible with my God-given ability. And uh, I think Ryan Bester, if he really commits to the sport, I mean, he could become the greatest player of all time. Well, that's yep, three in. shots to a strike. <laughs> One drive here and it's all over. So stand back, start your engines. Here comes Ryan Bester to finish the match. Hit two of them. <laughs> and there they go. go. Oh, and that's wow. it. I that's think they'll it. shake hands here. They won't worry about the rest of the formalities. Canada has won it. Roney and Bester in the tie break. But really the story is Bester. Devastating and a touch of the divine from the Canadian. He has had the power. He has had the touch. And he has had intervention from above as Canada win it in the tie break. Well, certainly a match of swinging uh, momentum. Uh, Keith, uh, a dominant first set by you guys. Yes, I think we got off to a good start and we played quite consistent and um, you know, it's, it's great to get off to that kind of a start, especially against Australia and their, their home uh, rink, it's, it's tough. What happened in the second set there? Just drifted out a little bit? Yeah, well they, they played I think, better bowls and I think they deserved to win and um, so we just had to uh, stay focused for the tiebreaker. Well, Ryan, you played some enormous bowls, not, not least of all at the end of the first set uh, to, to tie that one up. Um, yeah, they, they had the one in the ditch. My second one, I should have been behind, and I didn't. And then, you know, he hoped to get second to get the tie, but to get the win was bonus because then you kind of have a relief, you know, to you guarantee the tiebreaker. And in the tiebreaker, tell us about the six. Well, what happened was I was going for the jack to jump the ditch, and I could come back on the tee, and my ball would take the two balls out, and you get maybe three or four. And just the way I hit it, it's just kind of a freak result that happens in bowls. And uh, to get it six, now obviously it's a big boost and uh, it's great to get the win. Well, you're, you're both fun to watch. Well played today. Thank you very much. Thank you. In our next program from the World Team Cup, we'll have the second match from the Canada-Australia semi-final. It's the singles between Hirendra Bartu of Canada and Aaron Sheriff of Australia. Join us then next time at Tweet Heads.